Are British detectives sexy? Yes, we are. We are, yeah. Well, the question was for Alexandra, but yes, tell us, Frank, how are British detectives <laughs> sexy? I don't have to explain that, just take a look. <laughs> nice answer, I like that. I like that too. Okay, so Frank, 80s British detectives, uh, how do you play that? And, and how are they different from, let's say, 80s New York detective? Well, not just detectives, I would say. Just Americans and British men, British more stiff, more upper lip, less, more in control. What do you think, Alexandra? Is that true? About British men or British detectives? <laughs> Either one. <laughs> <laughs> um, knowing Brits and uh, having the opportunity to go out there, uh, yeah, I would say they're just a little bit harder, a little bit stronger in a different way than a New Yorker is. Uh, which is kind of funny considering New Yorkers are supposed to be these strong, tough guys. Uh, they're just a, a proper, more upstanding kind of individual usually. Alexandra, tell me, what's your character's name and a little bit about your character? I am playing Detective Sergeant Trotton, who is a fast-speaking, know-it-all, very powerful detective, uh, young on the force, but at the top of the, the team. And Frank, tell us about your character. Detective Sergeant Porterhouse. Probably been on the force too long, didn't make detective for the first 20 years, and he bumped along in his job, and he finally reached it, and he's probably old enough to retire, but he won't, because he's finally reached his pinnacle, and he don't want to leave. Now, this is a fun play, and I, I've had the chance to catch some of the rehearsals. They were very, very funny, and both of you were very funny, but what, what's your favorite part in the play, Frank, and, uh, you, you know, or, or something that your character does that's a lot of fun? Well, my character is kind of dense, so some things go over his head. Most things do. So, th that's the funny parts for my character. And are you basing your character on anyone you know, or, or is this a, a pure creation? No, it's pure creation. You seem as, to as written by the author. As written, and, but you seem to play a lot of British characters. I've noticed that lately. If you was that, I don't know. It could be that I pick up the dialect very well, and uh, that's the way it is. Alexandra, now this is kind of uh, uh, an interesting role for you because it was originally written for a man. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how are you approaching this character and making this character your own? I think I just had to play it a lot stronger and use the dialogue. Um, as it was written, but try to take a different twist on it because a lot of the, the lines that are actually funny, they're funnier if it's being said by a man, so it was a matter of delivering them and keeping that humor even though a woman was saying it. So it was actually a, a lot of thinking went in, into to my lines. Um, there's a specific part that the lines are, um, I don't want to give the show away, but when we're referencing certain things, uh, a straight woman would never be offended or uh, be concerned with what's being said. Uh, but if it was a man saying it, 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 it holds a different meaning. Well, I, I, I wish uh, the two of you break a leg on this upcoming production. It opens Friday at the Heights Players. That's February 1st. And uh, any message you want to send out there? Come on out and watch. Yeah, come, you'll laugh your asses off. Arses. Arses, yeah. <laughs>